shoes. <laughs> well, I wasn't expecting that. I, dude, I knew you were going to say boom, too. And I was like, oh, he's going to give a boom. That was only 40%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I told you guys we're going to go huge. And ever since that video played, we've been busy. We brought in the 100,000 pound monster Ibarmia. Beyond that, we've been busy in our new additive room. We got electrical now, boom, all the way up. We got our air coming in, into the room. Check this thing out, this thing is awesome. It's got dual 300 watt fiber lasers with 2,000 spot size, okay? The laser is 2,000 when it's burning the material. We're gonna print crazy parts out of all kinds of crazy materials like Titan mentioned. I can't tell you guys how excited I am about this machine. We're gonna get it installed. We're gonna teach you guys all about it. We can't wait. And we just finished our first qualifying print in 316L stainless steel on the True Print 2000. Let's go check out Trevor in our new additive room. All right, so let me explain a little bit of how this works. Down here, we have our supply cylinder. We fill this with metal powder, and then our recoder is gonna come over and it's gonna deposit that metal powder across the build cylinder. After that, the multi-lasers are gonna come down and selectively melt the area that they need to for each layer. Any leftover powder is gonna get pushed off over here into this chute, and it's gonna go down into our overflow bin for future use. So after the print is finished, we can take that overflow bin that I mentioned, and we can put it into our powder preparation station. We can put a supply cylinder underneath, and then we'll take all that leftover powder and we'll sieve it through back into the supply cylinder for future use. So here we have our qualifying print. We printed a series of squares and circles, thin walls. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take measurements off of all these features and we're gonna make sure everything's calibrated properly, everything's working properly before we start making real parts. Trevor laying it down in our additive department. We brought you in when it was all framed up, then it was drywall, then it was painted. The guys from ADG Concepts, Ivan, what's up Ivan? They actually came in and actually ran our air for us. We got our nitrogen tanks. These bottles have powdered metal. That's right, you have 316L stainless steel. Each bottle is 10 pounds, and a special shout out goes to Orlacon Medco for donating the powder to our education facility. And uh, this guy actually gets to have all the fun because he gets to wear his space suit. Um, but in all seriousness, one grain of the 316L yep. is about how big? It'd be about seven ten thousandths of an inch. If you think about a human hair, that's three thousand. So about four of these little particles per human hair. Right, yep. Very small. It can go up your nose, so we gotta be extremely safe. In machining, when you look at aluminum, you look at it and you're like, eh, because it's pretty easy to machine. But 3D printing is completely different because aluminum adds its own challenges to the mix. And on this machine, you can do some incredible aluminum fixturing. And it shows you the true genius in additive because you have tubes that are like rolled up inside another tube and the whole thing prints. Like to machine it, it would be absolutely impossible, but you're gonna actually print that in stainless in this machine. Then we're going to titanium, Inconel, even aluminum. Lift up this worldwide trade, lift up our countries, lift up all of it. Love you guys, we are out, boom.